Good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Megan Mueller. Thanks for sticking with KOMU. Here's an update on those road conditions out there this morning as you start that trip to Grandma's house. MoDOT reports the most snow-covered roads are here in central Missouri. Heading west to Kansas City, roads are partly snow-covered through around Cooper County, then mostly clear to KC. Headed east, the snow will stick with you all the way to St. Louis, with patches of partly cleared roads along the way. As Michelle said, snow should lessen as the morning goes on. In other news, Chancellor Brady Deaton is announcing what MU degree programs he'll cut or merge. This comes after the state told all public universities to cut low-producing programs. The university will cut 16 degrees total. However, some of those programs will merge to become one degree. For example, Spanish and French BA degrees will merge under one degree in Romance Languages. Deaton will cut other degrees completely, including some in natural resources, medicine, and education. The Today Show is next, right after this. Good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Megan Mueller. Thanks for sticking with KOMU. We've got a new update on road conditions as you head out for Christmas travel today. And there's some good news. The worst conditions have moved north and central Missouri no longer has the most snow-covered roads. Heading west to Kansas City, roads are still partly snow-covered through around Cooper County, then mostly clear to KC. Headed east, the snow is a lot heavier, and you'll see covered and partly covered highways all the way to St. Louis. If you're headed north, you'll have the most trouble. Those roads are covered pretty much all the way to Iowa. In other news, police are warning Columbia car dealers this holiday weekend and beyond, beware of two men trying to use thousands of dollars worth of what are likely fraudulent checks. Columbia police say the men tried to buy a truck and Mercedes on Tuesday with suspicious documents. Today's show is up right after this. St. Louis police are investigating a shooting that left a teenager dead and eight other people injured. Police say the shooting occurred late last night at a nightclub after some teenagers had been turned away from entering the club. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch reported that some of the teens were standing in the parking lot when suspects in two cars started firing. A former Eastern Missouri school secretary accused of stealing has been scheduled for arraignment next month. The Hannibal Courier Post reports that 42-year-old Kathy Walker is scheduled to be arraigned on nine counts of felony stealing in Pike County. Walker is currently free on bond after waiving a preliminary hearing. She's accused of using taxpayer dollars and privately contributed money to spend on items for herself. Pike County prosecuting attorney Mark Fisher has estimated the total financial loss at more than $10,000. The Scott County Sheriff Department in Cape Girardeau is continuing to search for the person who killed a 19-year-old Southeast Missouri woman nearly 20 years ago. Angela Lawless was shot to death in 1922. Joshua Kezer, a teenager at the time of the murder, was convicted and sentenced to 60 years in prison. He was exonerated and released in 2009 after Walter reopened the case. From NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith. Good morning, everyone. I'm Megan Mueller. Here's a look at your headlines from the KOMA newsroom. Frontenac Police released the 911 call placed from the home of former Anheuser-Busch CEO August Bush IV. On December 19th, police found 27-year-old Adrienne Nicole Martin dead in the home, but officials haven't released the cause of death. On the 911 call, Bush says Martin was, quote, just not waking up and didn't know if she was breathing because it was, quote, dark back there. Jeffrey Fleming will be in a Randolph County courtroom this morning. He is the Illinois man prosecutors charged with involuntary manslaughter after his car shook an Amish buggy nearly a year ago. 29-year-old Eli Borntrager of Madison, Missouri, was killed in the crash on Highway 63 near Moberly. That's all the news we have for now. The Today Show will be back right after this short break. Good morning, Mid Missouri. I'm Megan Mueller. Thanks for joining us this morning. State health officials are warning you to be wary of carbon monoxide poisoning from faulty furnaces, space heaters, and generators, things you're using to stay warm this winter. The Department of Health and Senior Services says 90 people died in Missouri last year from carbon monoxide poisoning. More than 200 were hospitalized with symptoms of headaches, dizziness, sleepiness, and nausea. State health officials say the surest way to prevent exposure to the colorless and odorless gas is to install a carbon monoxide detector. The man charged with killing 67-year-old Aletha Turner is expected in court this morning. Authorities are holding 22-year-old Ryan Bridger in the Boone County Jail. Family members found Turner unconscious in her Columbia home last Monday. Stick with KOMU for the latest on the case. That's all the news for now. The Today Show is back after this.
Police say a 26-year-old woman who was last seen more than a week ago driving away from her eastern Missouri apartment is now a missing person. Jefferson County authorities say they don't suspect foul play at this point. KSDK reports the High Ridge woman left her 6-year-old son with a live-in friend several days before Christmas and said she was driving to a title loan business. She hasn't been seen since then. The 6-year-old is now staying with Eberhardt's parents. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. Authorities say a southeast Missouri man shot and wounded his mother and then used the gun to kill himself. The shootings happened this morning at a home in rural Cape Girardeau County. The coroner says Charlie Ussery and his mother, 64-year-old Lana Ussery, may have been struggling over the gun. The mother is hospitalized in stable condition. A candidate who narrowly lost a Democratic primary for a Missouri House seat from Kansas City plans to file papers with the House this week to officially contest the election. John Rizzo defeated Will Royster by a single point in the August primary. Rizzo went on to win the general election. Appeals court upheld Rizzo's victory, but Royster still alleges voter fraud in the primary. From NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith. Good morning, everyone. I'm Megan Mueller. Here are your local morning news headlines from KOMU. Police say a 26-year-old Jessica Eberhardt is now a missing person. Eberhardt was last seen more than a week ago driving away from her eastern Missouri apartment. Jefferson County authorities say they don't suspect foul play at this point. KSDK reports the High Ridge woman left her 6-year-old son with a live-in friend several days before Christmas and said she was driving to a title loan business. She hasn't been seen since then. The 6-year-old is now staying with Eberhardt's parents. Anyone with information is asked to excuse me, contact the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. And in other news, red light cameras around Columbia are not making as much profit as some people say. Reports show in the last fiscal year, only $18,000 of the $158,000 from the red light camera tickets were reported as net revenue. The biggest expenditures come from paying the company that installs and maintains the cameras, as well as the expenses for reviewing and processing the tickets. That's all the news for now, but we'll be back in 25 minutes with another look at local news and weather. The Today Show is back after this. Good morning, everyone. I'm Megan Mueller. In court yesterday, Jeffrey Fleming was charged a misdemeanor after pleading guilty to carelessly operating motor vehicle and reckless manner involving an accident. Fleming is the 35-year-old who police charged with second-degree involuntary manslaughter after his car struck an Amish man on Highway 63 last January. Fleming will serve one year in jail and must complete 40 hours of community service as well as two years of probation. Tonight in Temp, Arizona, the Mizzou Tigers take on the Iowa Hawkeyes in the 22nd annual Insight Bowl. Mizzou is ranked 12th and is hoping to get its 11th victory on the season after the regular season of 10 and 2. They kick off this set for 9 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. Stick around, the Today Show will be back after this. Good morning, Missouri. I'm Megan Mueller. Thanks for joining us this morning. The Kansas City candidate who narrowly lost the Democratic primary for the Missouri House seat plans to file papers with the House to contest the election. John Rizzo defeated, defeated Will Royster by a single point in the August primary. Rizzo went on to win the general election. Appeals in court upheld Rizzo's victory, but Royster still alleges voter fraud. Authorities say a southeast Missouri man shot and wounded his mother and then used the gun to kill himself. The shootings happened this morning at a home in rural Cape Girardeau County. The coroner says Charlie Ussery and his mother, 64-year-old Lana Ussery, may have been struggling over the gun. The mother is hospitalized in stable condition. The Today Show will be back right after this.